So aside from the essentials na na-discuss ko na sa aking mga previous vlogs, today I'll be sharing with you guys the other things na I think I cannot live without anymore um, when it comes to taking care of Theodore. So if you want to know more, please keep on watching. It's me, Mommy Nay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Welcome po sa aking channel today. At first and foremost, thank you po sa aking mga returning viewers at mga new subscribers. So, in this vlog today, I will be sharing with you guys yung mga, uh, mga extra kong mga essentials na I think pwede nyo rin i-consider na talagang gamitin. Well, familiar naman most of them, pero ayun, may magamit ako here in front. But before natin umpisahan yun, meron akong bagong pahulo. Yung bagong pahulo si Mami Nay. Wow talaga. Okay. So, since I've been getting a lot of very heartwarming and very nice comments, um, I will start doing a weekly shout out to all my new viewers and subscribers. So, every time I start my vlog, I will be shouting out dun sa mga people na talagang nagsusubaybay at talaga takes the time and effort to comment on my videos. So, for this week, I would like to shout out um, Clarice Grace. Okay, so I'll just show her comment here. It says, hi po, thank you so much for your video. I just got my chow, Charlie, and his three months old. This is very informative and definitely helpful to a fur mom. To fur moms. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so hi, um, Clarice and Charlie. There, if you want for me to shout out you and your dog, please comment below the name of your dog and might as well also share your experience as, as a chow chow for a parent and I would also share it with uh, with my viewers baka si may matutunan din kami sa inyo okay so without further ado let's get started okay so for my first item um okay so most of you already know that I love steel combs so ito yung um detangler ko sa um, grooming kay Theo, sa pag-groom kay Theo, at ilang beses ko na na-share itong favorite kong brand na ito. Um, a link below, again, kung saan ko nakuha ito, pero na-discuss ko na to sa kanyang um, essentials. Pero, addition to this is, I still want to, again, encourage everybody to have this one, a shedding comb. So, a shedding comb is malamang, nandun na sa name niya, is during his shedding season. So, it will help you um, get the extra coat or yung nalalaglag na coat um, during um, shedding season. So, ito, this one, it comes in a package already. So, na-share ko na to a couple of times now. Pero, I just want, this sa mga new viewers, kung hindi nyo na pa napapanood lahat ng vlogs ko, um, ito. So, ito, extra to, pero I cannot live without this. Because it really makes our lives easier to remove uh, the excess hair of Theodore. So, yun, you must check this out. Okay, next naman are the leashes that I use for Theodore. So, I haven't discussed this yet. But, yeah, marami din nagtatanong kung what I personally use for Theodore. So, I have two kinds. One is a color leash. So, this one first, ina-attach to sa kanyang um, leeg. And then, we have this one. This one is the leash, yung kinakabit mo mismo. So, yan. So, this one is very good for um, training as well. Yung pag hinihila mo dito, make sure na nandito yung leash. At hindi dito sa throat niya. Pero, this one we use for walking and running. So, makikita nyo, may, ano na yan, may, hindi na siya medyo straight. Ayan. Uh, because this is what my husband uses kapag nirarun niya si Theodore. So, number one, we have a uh, color leash. Ayan, ayan. Ito din yung ginamit namin nung obedience school. So, yun. Yun ang in-instruct sa amin. Ayan. However, we have another leash na feeling ko pwede nyo rin talagang itry kasi, um, magandang klase siya. So, um, parang color 
relish lang din siya, pero mas makapal siya. I don't know kung nakikita niyo siya. Pero since nga, medium dog si Theodore at medyo malakas siya. Minsan kailangan mo heavy duty. Hindi pala minsan, madalas kailangan heavy duty talaga ang iyong leash. So, ito medyo makapal siya for medium and large dogs to. Tapos, ganito siya. Hindi na siya, pwede siyang tanggalin, pero hindi ko na tinatanggal to. So, basically, ihilahin mo lang ganyan, tapos ipapasok mo. Talagang, talagang sample sa akin. Okay, ipapasok mo. Tapos, automatic, kapag hinihila mo yan, naglalock yan. Here. Ayan. So, hindi ka talaga mag-worry kung matatanggal siya. Kasi, chains yung kanyang um, pang-lock. Next naman is yung mga toys na talagang I cannot live without anymore. Kasi at this stage, iniiwan na talaga namin si Theodore sa house for a couple of hours. For example, nag-grocery kami or may kailangan kami puntahan sa tet or we're just gonna have dinner or lunch. Iniiwan namin siya for a couple of hours. Pero hindi yan nagtatagal ng more than 3 hours or 4 hours. Pag longer, um, na-discuss ko na to in my previous vlog. Um, iniiwan ko siya sa pet backer. So, if you haven't checked out that vlog, um, yung daycare or parang mga sitting, it's a sitting app for pets, check that out. So, yun. Um, so, the reason why hindi ko na kayang, um, I cannot live without this toys is because it keeps him calm, no, when whenever we're not around. Kasi, um, na-anxious din po talaga. Although, chow-chows are very independent. Kaya mo talaga sila or pwede mo talaga silang iwan. Uh, they also get anxious because, syempre, they're also dogs. They, they're attached to their alphas. My favorite chew toys that I have is this one. Itong Dogo. Na-share ko na to before. Ang tagal-tagal na nito sa amin. Hindi pa rin siya sira. Favorite ko to. Pwede mong lagyan ng treats inside, like vegetables, ganyan. At favorite ni Theodore ito. So, I leave this. Tapos, some of it are, yan, yung mga ganito, yan. I make sure yung hindi masyadong matigas. Yung sakto lang, yan. So, yan, medyo may mga buhok pa. Pero ito, ito yung mga um, toys niya. Tapos... Um, favorite din niya to, mga pang babies na bubble bath. Ito, puppy pa lang siya, meron na siya nito. So, yan. Pero, additional um, things that um, I cannot live without anymore is yung lick mat niya, ito, nilalagyan ko to ng yogurt, ng ganyan, plain yogurt, ganyan. Tapos, since licking relaxes them, um, yun, um, this is very helpful. So, sure also to be considerate na ayo para hindi rin sila ma-anxious, hindi rin sila ma-stress. Chew toys are the best when you're not around. Okay, next naman, marami ang tatanong nito, paano nyo po nililinisan si Theodore after walks? So, ako, yung ibang fur parents talagang may sarili um, wipes yung taso nila. Well, ako rin naman, merong sarili wipes box si Theodore. Okay, nandito na po si Theodore. So, na-excite siya kasi nakita niya yung mga gamit niya. But, here, ayan, may, may wipes po talaga si Theodore. Ito na, ginagamit ko to sa panglinis ng mga gamit niya, um, ng mga suklay niya, or yung pag madumi yung dito niya. Meron din naman siyang wipes. Pero kasi, hindi siya practical. Nagagamitin mo siya every time mag-walk yung dog mo. And si Theo walks two times a day. So, hindi... <laughs> Lord, ang mahal. So, what do I use? Bumili ako ng mga towels tapos kinot ko in half. Tapos, ito yung pinang pupunas ko. Tapos, weekly din, nilalabhan namin to. Um, however, at ito talaga, alam, ilalagay mo dito or ano ba yung shampoo ba nila or ano? Ayan, dito siya na. Amin, amin. Um, um, ako, ang ginagamit ko, guys, is yung dog soap pa din. So, kung tatanungin nyo ako para mas tipid and mas affordable, um, what I use is yung Madre de Cacao na soap. So, ito. Parang, feeling ko parang less than 200 pesos at over 150 lang to. Ang dami na niya. So, it looks like this. Sorry, ah. Nandiyan si <laughs> Ayan. So, it looks like this. Ito siya, guys. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ayan. Ito siya. Tapos yon what we do... So, ito yung ginagamit namin sa kanyang um, mga towels. Aside from Madre de Cacao, ngayon, for example, umulan. Tapos, usually, kapag... Theodore, can you sit here, love? Can you say hi to everybody? Mm -mm. Um, usually, kapag... 
Okay? Usually, di ba, pag tag-ulan maputik, tapos talagang nadudumihan ang kanilang, um, ang kanilang paws. So, what I usually use is this one. Ito, ginagamit ko lang to kasi medyo, um, may kabahalan to. Um, yung ganitong cleaner. Excuse me po. Mm, mm, baby ko. Oh, sit na na, sit na dyan. Sit. Ano ba yan? You're new, love, love. Bye! Okay. So, usually, ang ginagamit ko is this. Yung Nurture Zyme na Pop Cleaner. So, na-discuss ko na rin to before. Pero ito siya. Share ko lang ulit sa inyo. Ayan. Nagpapukos ba? Ano ba yun? Ayan. Tapos, basically, ipapump mo yan. Tapos, may lalabas dito na solution. Ito, very, very, very soft lang to sa kanyang skin. So, yun. Alam niya kasi ito. So, ayun. Kapag ginugroom ko siya, pag ginugroom ko siya dun sa table niya outside, ayun, ginagamit ko na to. So, basically, ano, mabango siya, tapos organic din siya for, from plant extracts. So, antibacterial scrub. So, yun. Okay, so, last but not the least, sinashare ko sa inyo ito kung nakakaligtaan nyo during uh, feeding time. So, sibe, syempre, essential na yung bowl nila, di ba? Um, ito, share ko lang sa inyo, guys, yung trick ko para mas comfortable si Theodore when it comes to feeding time. Minsan kasi, yung iba, nakadown sila, tapos ganyan kumain. So, parang antamad talaga, di ba? Usually, ganun yung mga chacha. Pero, I suggest, ay, sorry po, um, I suggest na kumuha kayo, ito, essential din na to sa akin, kumuha kayo ng maliit na stool na pagpapatungan ng kanyang bowl while eating or drinking. So, ito isa lang to. So, pag umi, kumakain siya, nakalagay yan dyan. Sometimes, sabi nyo, ay, baka madulas or mahulo. What you can do is, ito, this one, you can also use that as like parang a stopper. So, yan, kung madulas. Pero ngayon kasi na master na ni Theodore kung paano siya hindi madudulas, ewan ko. Or dahil kasi naka, nakaganyan yan sa wall, nakaganon siya sa wall. So, pakita ko kayo ng sample here. Yung makain siya there. I'm not sure kung makain siya or umiinom siya while I'm sh I was shooting this. But, yan. Nandyan yung makikita nyo. Malapit siya dun sa wall. Nakaharap siya sa wall. So, siguro parang na-master na niya kung paano ba ito hindi mahukulo. Ah, kasi isa yun sa mga rason kung bakit uh, tiyatamad silang kumain sa kanilang feeding bowl is baka sobrang baba nung Uh, nung pagkakalagay nyo ng bowl. At mas maganda pa rin na medyo mataas siya yung medyo level nila. So, there. There you have it, guys. Hopefully, may natuturo na naman kayo kay Mami Nay. If you have questions and comments, please always, always comment below. Or you can email me at funnymomph at gmail.com Don't forget to comment below because I will start doing my shoutouts now on a weekly basis. Uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see you on my next vlog.